Got original 1955 uh, Chevy Bel Air. This is a Wonder Bar AM radio. Uh, we completely redone the case. It's all re-zinked. Uh, redone the whole insides of it. All new chrome. Uh, original outside knobs. Uh, brand new back bezels. And uh, we've done a full Aurora design conversion on it. Uh, this thing now has a AM FM stereo. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It has a auxiliary in, which is automatic. I'll be demonstrating that. Uh, this is the first one I've done. It has HD, high definition uh, channels on it. So if you've got channels that are putting out uh, HD, this will pick it up. And believe me, it does make a difference in the sound, even though the, uh, the, the other ones had a great sound to it. Uh, It'll also uh, scan your stations. It has a voice ID. Wonder Bar works. All your push buttons like the old radio on the 55s used to work. But now you've got AM and FM and HD. That's pretty neat. USB port. Uh, play a thumb drive, which comes with it. And this will also charge your phone and devices. Uh, I'll be out doing some shows here in the next month or so, and this is one I'll be demonstrating. I worked for you why I wanted to get the HD into it. This is my first one. Wanted to show it, see if anybody's interested in it. Uh, auxiliary in right above here, you'll get a male to male cord to plug into it. Any device, uh, satellite radio, XM radio, uh, CD changers, your phone, iPods, iPads, all that stuff can plug into here and play. Uh, it also has uh, Bluetooth, hand free phone calls. Screaming your music it has a built-in mic right behind this push button here Plus you get an extra mic with it uh, She's fully loaded and we're going to demonstrate a little of it this morning Of course your wonder bar still works like it always did is a ghost of a jerk Push buttons work like they always did There we go. Next one. <laughs> now what you're seeing over here is an operating LED. This changes multiple colors to tell you where you're at on the radio. AM, FM, stereo, auxiliary, and changes different colors. Bluetooth. It also when you hit an HD channel, it'll flash a couple times and then go green. So now we're on HD. And it does make a difference on the sound. So we're lit up green, HD right there on that channel because that channel is putting out HD and regular uh, channels. Which is pretty neat. Another thing on this radio, everything works like it always did. Uh, and it will scan by itself. All you gotta do is take this wonder bar and push it twice. Well. Scanning for stations. Gotta do a little cleaning on that. It'll scan by itself and move the needle for you. Leads to a divorce. And All you gotta do is push your wonder bar twice. Pretty neat his, setup. The brother in law marries his sister in law. And you notice the little LEDs flashing over it, tells you that you're scanning. So you found a station that you like, push it once, it'll hold right there on it. Even the sun. Let's go up the upper end so I won't get in trouble with all this modern music. <laughs> With Doctor Doctor, we adjust scanning for stations. All right, put it in the scanning mode. Jesus. Soulless. I didn't know where I fit in it. So it's sitting there scanning by itself. When it gets down here, it'll start over again. Today, right? I think it was brave to open. Jordy. Until we enter the New Jerusalem, Christians will always be the minority. So when you go down the road, you let the radio find its own station. Now we found this and it's HD. Push it once, we're gonna lock on it and it's gonna go HD. There we go. 
that's pretty neat how that works by doing your wonder bar. I got this and kind of got a little stick to it. I got to do a little adjustment on it. I'm getting my fingerprints all over the new chrome. Anyhow, that's how that works now. You got AM dial, this is original radio. We don't want to change the looks of it. You're on FM, you'd like to know what channel you're on. Take the volume knob, turn it up three times. One. W M O T F M 89.5 HD 1. It'll do that on both AM and FM for you. It's called Voice ID. That's pretty neat. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to show you how to do auxiliary in. All you do is pull your cord out, plug it in. Get see if this little thing will fire up. I had a low battery on the last time. And you just plug in any device you want to. Somebody might get in your car and say, hey, you want to hear this? Plug it in, you ain't got to worry about Bluetooth and all that stuff. They can just play what they want to play. Plug it in, turn it on. Automatically changes over. Now when you're on lights gone green, that means you're on auxiliary and when you get ready to go back to regular radio, just turn your device off. And then 20 seconds the radio will automatically change back over to where we had it. And we're going to let it do that, but if you want to shorten that 20 seconds, just turn it off and back on. It'll cancel it down shorter. Let's let, make sure it automatically changes over. And it should be getting very close. Change back over. Stereo light come back on. We're back on FM HD channel. That's how your auxiliary end works, which is pretty neat. Now we're gonna uh, we're gonna pair up the Bluetooth, and there's two ways of doing it. If anybody's watched any of my other videos, this push button will operate just like the knobs will, also like the Wonder Bar will on the Wonder Bar radio. So we're going to pair the radio up, we're going to let her help us out, we're going to bring it up, make sure we're on Bluetooth, hold this button down, you can also do it with the volume knob, hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. It's going to show up on her phone, all we got to do is tap on it, she'll tell us when it's done pairing. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Alright, we're connected up, now we want to check out the mic in here and make sure we're working right we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a voice command we can do it by holding this button down bring our phone up we can also do it with the volume knob turn it up twice play music I'm on the music on my phone so when you do it you can look up Tell your phone to call home if you got it listed on your phone. Uh, look up restaurants, addresses, anything you want to do just by simply holding this down, bring your phone up, or turn this up twice. Now there's uh, three ways to change your songs. You can advance this way by pushing it once, twice to back up or repeat. You can do it with a tuning knob, but turn it up, turn it back. You can also do it with a wonder bar. Push it once twice we'll back up so you can advance your music there phone call comes in she'll come on and say incoming call and uh, you can press this once to answer the call you can turn the bot your tuning knob up one click to answer the call or just push your wonder bar answer your call when you're done you push this twice to end the call turn this down once or push this twice. That'll end your call. It'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. Alright. Let's go back to radio. We're going to bring our phone up. Hold this down. Stop music. Put it in pause. Going right back to radio. Back on radio. Now we're going to, now we pair it up, we're going to shut the radio off for a second, make sure when we fire it back up, because you shouldn't have to pair it up at one time unless you get a new phone or you have something done to your phone. And it will take multiple devices, it'll always pick number one. 
So if you're the primary driver or the one who wants to answer all the phone calls, that's the one you want to do. So when you get in your car, turn it on. Bluetooth connected. Find our phone, we'll connect it up right back to HD on that channel we left it on. Alright, now we're going to do uh, USB. You'll get one of these with this video on it and some music on it. The file's already built for you. Manual's on here, even though I give you paper one. Plug it in, go straight to it. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Same way as you do your phone. Those you're on a little different light, that means you're on USB. One time adventure song. Twice to back up or repeat. I can do it here too. Back up. I can do it here too. Back up. Twice. Now, you can hide this thing because the only time you got to take this out if you want to charge a phone or you don't have to pull this stick in and out. If you want to go back to radio, you can hold, there's two ways of doing it. You can hold this down one second, put it in pause, go right back to radio. It'll cycle back around. You can also do it with a volume knob. We went up for Bluetooth. We're going to go down for pause and bring it back up. All I got to do is hold this down one second, go back to my thumb drive. All I got to do is turn this down twice, right back to it. Depends on how long you're down, whether it goes to the same song or not. Now, we've got an AM radio. When these come, they run like one speaker. Some of them had two. Now we've got four. If you have balance and fader built in your toner control. And this thing already knows how many speakers you are running when you fire it up. So if you hook up two, if you hook up two, you'll have a balance. If you hook up three or more, you'll have a balance and fader. Find a song we listen to. Here we go. All right, toner. This is wide open, wide open treble. Got that knob a little close. Bass. All we gotta do is back this toner up just a little bit, and let's go into fader first by going clockwise, like a 12-2 motion with with the toner control. One, two. Fader adjust. After she says it, you can fade from front to back till you find what you like. Let's balance it out. I like it right there. We'll let her set it. Fader set. All right. Now we're going to go counterclockwise for balance. One, two. Balance adjust. There's our right side, left side. Let's balance it out. Just let her set it. Balance set. Now we've set up all four speakers where we hear them. All we gotta worry about is treble and bass. That's your original, 55. They, they put these same things in 56. Uh, they did put them in the Corvettes. It had Wonder Bar on the front of it. Different knobs, different setup. Uh, 56 had different knobs. This is the 55. And uh, look forward to everybody kind of seeing it out on the road. If you come by the booth, I'll be at different car shows and demonstrating it, how it all works. You can ask questions about it. Uh, these radios do not require 12 volt consistence. That's one thing I really like about it. You can shut your battery off, pull your battery out of it, store your car. When you put juice back to it, it goes right back to doing what we had it done. Thank you.